Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here. Brian's All Maidens. Hope you guys are doing well. Another day, another dollar, trying to make some money. Um, hey, today it is actually a Monday afternoon. We're gonna be uh, mowing a lot of our commercial sites today. By the way, check out the specs. I just made an Instagram post. A lot of you guys wanted to see a review video on safety glasses. Uh, I actually ordered like six or seven different pair on Amazon. I'm gonna be testing them out for the next few weeks because I'm always in the search for good safety glasses that aren't uh, an arm and a leg, that also have uh, good protection and uh, can use them in the sun. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. Today, we're mowing a bunch of grass. Um, Rob's got the GoPro. He's gonna be doing some footage for you guys with uh, trimming. I'm gonna grab uh, some mowing footage with the mower and yeah, so anyway, it's Monday. It's been a, a, a fun weekend. A lot of you guys saw the vlog that we did with um, uh, Brett, the little dude, the four-year-old kid. Uh, just an amazing day on Saturday. He absolutely loved uh, all the toys we were able to get for him. And uh, again, shout out to Steel, Craftsman, Peg Perego, just uh, a really, really good companies and good people there. But that was that was totally a blow my mind. He he absolutely loved that kind of stuff. And it just feels good to give back. And, and honestly, it's because of you guys too. All of you guys that subscribe, uh, that support the channel, gives us the, the clout, I don't know what you say, to reach out to those kind of companies to get some toys for a cool little dude like that and uh, quote unquote be his hero for the day. So that was such a, a joy. But anyway, it's Monday afternoon. Um, we're gonna capture some mowing footage for you guys and then I wanted to um, talk about a, a valuable lesson learned, uh, something that actually transpired um, about two weeks ago uh, at a commercial site. Uh, actually, this commercial site. And I'm not gonna throw uh, anybody under the bus, but we had a little incident. Uh, uh, it's kind of a drama, it's kind of negative, but it was resolved. And I wanna go through the, the whole chain of the events of what happened and just let you guys know. And um, for any of you guys think that cutting grass is just always sunshine and rainbows, or even for Brian's Law Maintenance, it's just a Pollyanna, uh, that's that's not the case. Um, I, we had a little altercation and it was, uh, um, valuable lesson learned on both ends and uh, gave me a quick refresher on how to deal with people. So anyway, um, let's go mow some grass. Um, I'll uh, catch up with you guys here in just a few minutes and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the rest of your day. And by the way, if you guys enjoy the mowing vlogs, bam, hit the big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, if we can get to a thousand likes on this video, I really appreciate the support. And uh, guys, I'm trying to capture way more mowing vlogs for you guys. Um, the season's kind of tapered off. We can start spending some more time doing that. And uh, if you guys want more in vlogs, more mowing vlogs, leave me some comments down below and let me know. All right guys, so let's get to mowing. So here's the deal guys, here's what I wanted to talk to you guys for just a few minutes about. And honestly, it was a super, super awkward, actually I'm gonna leave these on, I'm sorry. It's just, a, it's a cloudy day, but my gosh, I, uh, it's just bright, my my eyes are always like really sensitive to it. So here's the deal, um, had a little incident here uh, about two weeks ago. And the only reason I tell this story is not to add drama to them, not to add uh, any, any back and forth or anything of the mess. Uh, just to give you guys a life lesson, just to kind of explain what happens as a, a lawn care landscaping provider. 
uh, when you have these kind of situations come up. So what happened was I'm at my commercial site here and we we're pulling weeds about two weeks ago. Uh, and I was going around with my five gallon painter buckets and basically going around the whole property, pulling weeds like we normally do, managing the site for these guys, right? And what happened was uh, all I had was, actually I had my whole rig with me and I was parked right here like I normally do. Right, so I park on the boulevard here. I don't like taking uh, parking space uh, up front, uh, especially, you know, during the day when, when they're trying to do business, right? At 10 p.m. at night, sure. Weekends on Sundays, sure. They're not really open and doing a lot of work. Well, what happened was uh, I take my two painter buckets and I'm pulling weeds. So I was pulling weeds on a Saturday morning. This was maybe about uh, noon and uh, we're just cleaning up the whole site, right? Uh, a lot of times we mow, a lot of you guys know we mow Monday through Thursday, and then Friday, uh, either I'm doing office work or trying to make YouTube videos and edit, uh, or Saturday, uh, I always go out and do my weed pulling and maintain about five or s four or five, five uh, HOAs and commercial sites that request that stuff uh, every week and every month. Uh, I, I do a lot of money, a lot of revenue with weed pulling. It's really simple stuff. Um, e even me, even Brian's on maintenance, we pull weeds. I love, I love pulling weeds. It just makes a property uh, that much nicer and we can always take care of our commercial clients. So what happened was, um, as I'm pulling weeds, uh, the buckets fill up and we go right back here and we throw the weed uh, junk in this trash bucket right here, which is owned by the restaurant. And uh, as I'm pulling weeds, I'm up front, and I'll show you guys here. I'm up front, over there, in the boulevard, pulling weeds. And what happened is, uh, one of the ladies that works here, she comes whipping out, pulls up next to me, squawks the tires, and I'm like, what's up with that? And she begins to have a very loud conversation and altercation with me about um, why am I dumping uh, my trash in their trash receptacle in the back. And I was like, uh, what are you talking about? I said, hey, so you know, first part of people skills, right? De-escalate. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on or what, what, uh, what's the issue here. And she was like, well, you guys are always dumping trash in our uh, trash receptacle. My boss, my owner doesn't want people using that dumpster, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, who are you? And she was very, very um, uh, aggressive. Let's just say that. And I went, uh, uh, okay, okay, and so I, I explained like, hey, I'm your landscaper, guys. I actually work for you. I work for the for the property management company. We're just beautifying the the property for you and pulling weeds. All right, that was it. No big deal. Didn't say anything. Had no attitude. Just, hey, no problem. Some guys randomly working here. And uh, by the way, here's the fun part: is that I was actually at the restaurant eating lunch. You know, 15 minutes prior, I got lunch here that Saturday afternoon to support support the business that pays me. Right, the property management a company that hires me. I'm trying to recycle the money, right? So what happened was I come back after the buckets are filled up to go dump the second batch, which that was, into the trash receptacle. And as I'm coming back, as I'm coming back, the whole back of my truck is filled with trash. Absolutely filled to the top, this high of trash. And as I'm walking this way, going around the building here, right? I go, that's different. I see some boxes up there, then I see some garbage bags, and then I come around right here, and I see just goop, just chicken goop, grease, and oil dripping from the back of my truck. In fact, it's two weeks later, and you guys can still see all the nastiness because I haven't had time to wash my truck in two weeks. We've been so busy, but you can see all the slime, all the goop, all the stuff that's coming down. Now, as you would imagine, uh, I was very confused. And then I got very, very mad <laughs> because, uh, well, I'm just be honest with you guys, $60,000 truck, like, don't touch my truck, okay? Um, it's not your property. And, um, and I was like livid. And I'm thinking to myself, who just put all this trash in the back of my truck? Well, anyway, what happens is I connect the dots. I see all the, the oils, all the food, it's the restaurant. And again, I'm not gonna slate this guy because I know the owner. I called him after and I'll get into it. And he was really cool, very apologetic. But what happened is one of the employees here, um, the same lady that uh, confronted me, uh, took it upon herself to tell the other employees here to take all the trash out of the trash receptacle and throw my trash back into my dump insert of my truck. Uh, I'm just gonna be, I just level with you guys. I was group chatting Brandon and Mike, and I was like, guys, um, 
I don't know what to do right now. Like I sent him a screenshot. Actually, I have a little clip here, a little video that I took of the whole situation. And uh, what would you guys do? So what happened is uh, I, I go in there, I, I talked to the girl at the front counter. They had customers there. I was not gonna make a scene. Now I know most of you guys and myself included, the thought in my brain was, I'm about to destroy somebody. I'm like, hey, somebody's gotta remove this crap. Um, come to find out that the manager that approached me had, had just left. Uh, I go, so so you guys didn't question the order that she gave you of putting all the trash in, into my thing? Well, and the girl that came out, and again, these the two employees that were super nice that came back out and helped me, they were like, well, she was really mad that you were you had your truck parked here for so long and then you know you were here for an hour like who do you think you are and all this stuff and i'm thinking to myself uh i was inside your restaurant for 35 minutes you know eating lunch and dicking around on my phone probably doing instagram and youtube and dming all of you guys like i do i mean i spend a lot of time on my phone uh and she goes he didn't she didn't know who you were and she wanted you know this truck to get out of here and who does this guy think he is using our trash i guess and this is what the lady told me that the manager thought I was with from Menards, like I was with Menards, and dumping my trash from me working at Menards into their into their dumpster, and I was like, no, like that's not the case at all. And so, anyway, I was very livid. I was very mad, uh, and I'm telling you guys, so imagine this: imagine you have whether your truck is 10 years old and has 200,000 miles on it, and it's a rust bucket. I've been there, or you have a brand new truck and 60 grand, and blah 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 blah. That's not the point. The point is that like somebody vandalized, put chicken goop, raw chicken, and all this other mess in the back of your truck. And I was just, I was really mad that somebody, as a human being, would do that, let alone somebody that's like, now an enemy, but like, I, like it was just completely uncalled for. And I, and I talked to the two employees and uh, that were helping clean up the situation. They were very apologetic. And I, even the owner, I said like, imagine the thought process here. I'm trying, you guys hired me to beautify your property uh, I cut the grass, I plow the snow, I, I clean this all up to make your site look nice, right? To attract customers to come in, that that's a clean restaurant. And how you kind of repaid me, Mrs. Manager lady, was to dump a bunch of garbage in the back of my truck with oils just dripping out the back. Here's the moral of the story. A lot of people whine and complain and they got their awesome dramatic story, right? Uh, I don't do drama on my channel. Uh, but the bottom line is that the lesson that was learned was um, people don't know who you are, people don't know what you're doing. Uh, unfortunately, this girl went zero to 100 real quick. Um, I always, here's my, here's my valuable lesson learned in life, and this is the way I operate is, always think positive first, always be patient, always be calm before you react. And unfortunately, this lady did it. And what it should have been, and this is actually after talking to my friend Mike, what it should have been is me calling the police, filing a police report, vandalism or trespassing type of report. Um, we've shot emails to corporate, we've also shot emails to the property management company, to a CYA, to have a paper trail, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, which was just unfortunate, it was just really um, unnecessary. I'm not sure the status of that manager or anything like that, but again, I love this restaurant. We eat here once a week, once every other week. Uh, I know the owner, really cool dude. Um, it's nothing against him, but just, why would somebody do that? So, the, you know, and here's the deal. It was just a bad apple. Somebody had a bad day. Somebody was assumptive. Somebody was not thinking. Unfortunately, the two uh, lower people on the on the pecking order didn't challenge that manager's decision, right? I, I gave them a lesson in life too. I said, you guys gotta challenge people like that. You gotta, you gotta tell them no. If it goes against integrity or respect of another human being, um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, uh, uh, execute on that behavior and they and they got it and they're both younger they're 18 you know some some people are 18 and they get it some people are 18 and they have no idea so um, but any which way uh, a really unfortunate situation uh, I did not escalate it I did not pursue anything I'm not going to do that I'm not that kind of guy but at the end of the day it was just a really unfortunate lesson that we had an un unfortunate situation that that turned into um, uh, a really bad afternoon for me. I just, I was really, really mad and uh, aggressive <laughs> the rest of that day. But you know what? Went to bed, woke up the next day. I was in a cheerful attitude, cheerful spirit. Uh, you can't let things like that ruin your day or anything like that. So, um, but anyway, that was my week a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Uh, so a lot of you guys are always wondering, like, how am I always so positive? And da da da. Like, does bad things ever happen to Brian's Law Maintenance? All the time, all the freaking time. In fact, in fact, uh, last week, Thursday, I had another story. I'll share maybe on another mowing vlog this week where we got blamed for another destroyed mailbox or, or uh, mirror. 
uh, somebody's car mirror got destroyed, like on a, on a car, and they came after me. That was an interesting, uh, interesting phone call that I'll be sharing that uh, at another time. But so anyway, if you guys have bad days, uh, I think I think that the month of August was just a pain in the butt for everybody. Um, it was very warm. It was very hot. A lot of uh, a lot of you guys were sh uh, shooting me text messages and DMs throughout the whole month that things were breaking. I'm done with August. We can close that chapter. And don't have to worry about that ever again. So. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the story, if you guys enjoyed the vlog, you guys got some comments, anything like this ever happened to you, man, hopefully not. But if so, leave me some comments down below. Again, I love the restaurant here. Uh, again, I'm, a, I'm the go over and above. Uh, don't worry about things. Let water off a duck's back, right? And uh, I can't really blame them uh, or the owner for anything that happened. Just uh, a bad uh, red ant of an employee and somebody who made some really bad decisions. But anyway, that being said, we always move on. We always keep it positive, and that's why... Uh, we have a good reputation around town and you know what I've made my mistakes. I know they did I always ask for grace and I can always extend grace. So all right guys That's it. Hopefully you guys have a great day. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one